Yes, we are. All right, here we go. Double. Michael Mayer, rookie out of Notre Dame. Watch this little chip. We got a little triple block between him and Colton Miller, the left tackle. Why is it called a triple? Okay, so center and guard right here is a single. Guard and tackle would be a double. Tackle, tight end is a triple. Ah, so we just work from inside out. There it is. Now watch that. Look him get away. Put him back on Colton Miller. There it is. Get out on him. And jeez. Out the game. See ya. How, hey, oh, Darius, Darius how hard is that? How hard is Mike Ooh. Edwards, right? Yeah. In space with 20 yards of space, having to come down and make that tackle. Yeah, it's, it's tough. You want to try to cut off, obviously, the field, get him to that sideline, use that 12th man as your friend, but then you got to deal with that stiff arm. You got to be ready to break down that stiff arm, get him on the ground, but that's an art in itself. Great, great, great run. Another thing that sets us up, AJ, I don't know if you can talk a little bit about this too, but if we go Jeez. back to this, can we go back to the beginning here? Yes, sir. Tranquil, right? Drew Tranquil right here. Comes downhill. Why does he not go over the top? Because he basically gets the block for the center. If he gets over the top there, we might have a chance. But he runs right into the center, tries to make the play downhill as opposed to going over the top. What's the deal, AJ? Uh. I mean, he's trying to kind of mirror the, the footwork of the back. But, yeah, I just don't know exactly what the – like, uh, if he puts his foot in the ground and he hits that downhill in the A-gap and 54 doesn't come over the top, that might be on Tranquil. Yeah. Cool. Wow. You yeah. Yeah. You and you can small, come downhill and blast an O-lineman like that. You got a small nickel back in there, too. Look at the sense of urgency Meyer. on Mayer, though. That's what I love. Like, I tell kids, like, you need to have a sense of urgency and strain. Like, look at this. Boom. Eyes on his next guy. Boom. Boom. Feet, 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 feet. Run the feet. That's the key. Has he been doing more of this stuff lately? Because uh, when he came out, coming out of Notre Dame, uh, some people's knock on him was that he was basically just a receiving threat and couldn't, couldn't block in the run game at all. I mean, this is big time. You know, listen, like they haven't run the ball. Yeah, he's a great, he's a great player. I mean, listen, especially judging people as a rookie, you got to find your way, you got to find your feet, and especially in this part of the game, you got to figure it out. But here we are in week eleven. That is a hell of a block, mm -hmm. and they get oh, sixty-five yeah. out the gate. Oh, no, I love go. this. I love this. I talked to Pat a little bit about this pre. Here, go back to the very beginning. I just want to kind of talk about this. So when we start and they line up like this originally, we get the tight end over here, we get the fullback over here, which they know that going into it. So now we get them as a nickel defense lining up, or if they're in, an, or if they're in base defense, whatever, we're going to get in an over defense to get the three techniques set here. They know that pre-snap. Now they're going to get the fullback over there. But eventually what they want to get to is the tight end and is going to motion over here. So they set the strength over here, get them to align to it as the strength, get him going over, and then they get the double team there. There's no time to readjust. They're trying to. There's just no time because we're snapping the ball before he gets over there. And then we get the tight end through in the Sam. We get the misdirection with the toss, split zone, cutback, Fullback then will go back on the will, and it allows us to get a great angle on the single center guard to the mic. This is awesome stuff. Hell yeah. I think I sent this to AJ on Monday. Yes. Yeah, it's a great point, AQ. They can't, you can't get your three and your shade flipped when they're snapping the ball when he's directly behind your quarterback right there. If he went over and got set, yeah, okay, here we go. You can go pat the D line and get him moved over. There's not enough time. Has, has McDaniel kind of changed oh. NFL offenses? He, you say? he is. And again, I said this earlier on the show. He is the one person that when the ideas come on Monday and Tuesday to actually implement them and have enough balls to put them in the game plan and run them in the game. This, if this, all this play is, is if you had the tight end over here, they're basically just running a split zone. But by doing this, with motioning the tight end over, you can insert him through the B gap to get on the Sam. If this tight end was on the ball right here, you'd have to work some type of a combo with him and the tackle to get there. Triple. But just exactly a triple. But by doing this, now Hell you yeah. insert, you get something different. It's just giving the defense something different with their eyes. Yeah, I love it. McDaniel's always doing something. Yeah. It's awesome. He's always up to something. Him yes. walking in, uh, it was awesome. With that puffy jacket on. Actually, shoot, love that. Dude, He, you should watch that Hard Knocks. He's, yeah. uh, he was sitting there, and they asked him, like, a question about they give cakes to turnovers on defensive side. Mm -hmm. And they said, how'd the cakes start? And he, you would have thought they asked him, like, the question in Harvard where that janitor figured it out. Sure, sure. Where he goes, oh, the cakes. Uh, uh. Tim Casper, Coach Casper, I think he just he uh, he talked to the team and he said he would give them cakes and then <laughs> it just like uh, just became a trend and then he just cut away from it. <laughs> <laughs>
It was listening to him describes it like he's right, 100% right. Super smart, obviously. But the way he chooses to speak and ap- operate and act and does, like the way he is, is just nothing like what you think an NFL head coach would be. But because he does this type of stuff and because they're so successful and because he's always himself, it works down there. He feels like the perfect coach for this team. Perfect. I agree. I love watching him on Hard Knocks. I love watching his interviews. I love watching just the way he operates. And he's so smart at the football stuff. One last point I want to make about this is the toss. We get the toss. Anytime you get the toss when they're running just a simple split mid zone right here, they have to think that it's going outside so we get them flying over the top. It sets up the blocks for everything. Instead, it's a toss inside. Bingo. We get the cut back. Is there any like smart McDaniel stuff? Because I, I want to just like hear because obviously he's very smart. Like that's what I want to see. Yeah, he's, he talks about the routes and why he picks for routes to do things. Like he breaks down. Yeah, yeah, you hear him. But he, his delivery is always in just a manner that is just like so casual. Yeah, so chill. You just kind of got to piece through it. I assume there's been a lot of conversations that McDaniel's been in with not smart people where they think to themselves, "This guy, this guy's a doofus. Yeah. Yeah. He's got no idea." It takes like the I think. Why he got a head coaching job is because somebody was like, hey, this guy's actually a fucking genius. Yeah. We just got to listen to how he speaks as opposed to everything. He is awesome to awesome. watch on there. And what he's doing in the game is different than anybody, right? It's completely In the history? Different. Yeah, absolutely. Because, again, he he's taking just one or two different assignments. We've seen it in San Fran. And he was the architect behind that. Let's not forget that. Everybody talks about it. The offensive line coach out there, he'll he'll be the first one to say it. He's the one that has been the guy in the run game to change these assignments. Uh, we have a guy joining us in the middle of this in the trenches, uh, which is fantastic. We have no idea why or how this is unexpected mm-hmm. and oh, here unannounced. We go. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us again is... person called we didn't answer we're calling him back oh. who is it the suspense is killing me it's got to be kabuli it's got to be aaron Mama? it's not aaron it, aaron's on practice field today mm-hmm. thank you ladies and gentlemen jj watt wow yes. oh. what's going on i got i got a bone to pick with him. i got a bone to pick i was watching the film of the show and the texans photo that you put up they were wearing battle red this week. No. In that uh-uh. photo. You saw they were those seats. Uh-uh. Blue. No, no. That was from this week. That was from this no, week. No, it yep. wasn't. You sons of bitches. <laughs> you sons of bitches. All right. Maybe we did take the chance. I love you know, it. Maybe we did take that. the chance to really, really say some oh. stuff about was the that like text. four years ago? No, no, no. It was from November 19th. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely the season, though. It was this it season. Was this season. Year. It was this season. Hilarious. This is some grade A <laughs> bullshit. Okay. Oh, there was one from this week, too. Yeah, hey, put this one back up. Yeah, hey, yeah. Gump, stay in the back room and shut your mouth. All right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you facts, JJ. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't need your facts. I'm sick of it. I'm pissed over here. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, listen, we take back everything we said. Right. But with that being All said... Right. Go, go back to AQ swinging his legs and showing off fun blocking schemes. Thanks, man. We'll show your defense line getting their fucking asses kicked. Let's oh! go. Hey! Oh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, next time we're not going to go for a walk. We'll do a little one-on-one in my backyard. <laughs> oh! I got, I got Phil. I got Phil. Only I, one person's taking a walk. I have played against you a few times. Let's not forget that. Oh! Not now. Not now. Oh! Not now. Hey, JJ, I want to let you know. AQ at about 2.30, where he's sitting at right now. He's still yeah, going to try winning. the same tactics, though. You know, yeah, he's going to lead out. with the head. He'll get him. You know what he's yeah, trying he's to gonna do? Yeah, he's going to cut block. He's going to cut block. That's what I would do if I was scared, too. Bingo. Bingo. Oh! Bingo. Bingo. Scared Bingo. again. All right. Treaties. Those you going to need. Later. I love it. See you, dude. Sorry about it. Later. Wow. Love it. Nice little rivalry. Trenches. I did like that you brought that up, though. Yeah. Excuse me. I've been watching... <laughs> I saw, it. Bell right. Bell yeah. Right. Yeah. I saw it. I saw it. Say eleven, nineteen. <laughs> when when is that picture Didn't from? Matter. By the way, the one from this week. This aren't it? It, is yeah. this year? it was from last week's game. Oh, perfect. This has been an issue all season. Yes, yeah. it has been an issue all season. We Got just it. chose to bring it up in a very loud fashion. I yeah. love it because he's thinking about return. Is that why he's thinking about returning? Could be sell out a stadium. Right. Smart Taylor, move. Taylor Swift. Of the program. Let's talk about, uh, hey, Jason Kelsey said Jordan Phillips, a little dirty stuff in there. Yeah. Is it, you see that on the film? Did you watch we, it? We did see it. I think everybody saw it. There was a couple times, you know, on the, what was it? There was a quarterback sneak where he jumped the count, and then there was a couple other ones late 
after the play Man where he was kind of mm-hmm. throwing a little knee, hopping on pile leg. What's that? Is that normal? Is that normal operating procedure? Listen, every D lineman's got their little shtick. You're always trying to get on. Everybody's trying to get under everybody's skin. That's just the nature of the beast. Yeah, you you're can, not. You're not like that, right? Offensive linemen don't have their little things either, right? Well, we got plenty of plays later where you can you can judge us offensive linemen. But oh, on this okay. play, on this play. Jason Kelsey, Cam Jurgens. We're going to watch them. Love this scheme. All it is is an inside zone, but we're going to cut the defense right now with Big Land and Dickerson on the down block. Oh. Kick out, kick out. And listen, we, we've said this. These guys are good linebackers, but they're light. Yeah. They are light. light and this is one thing we continue to see over and over again with these Buffalo Bills is their linebackers are getting thrown in the run game a little bit. I think that's starting to be a, a, a little point of contention that people are going after. You think that uh, people know that? Yeah, we saw we saw it a couple weeks ago with Miners, right? Whenever he just threw forty three, like that. This is same guy. He's he's phenomenal linebacker. He's quick. If he can get to the gap and beat you there, boom! But he just takes himself seven yards out of the play right there. Yeah, oh. we, we talk about like one guy affecting the O line. Like Matt Milano is that one guy for Buffalo on defense mm-hmm. as a whole. But yep. if you're Buffalo, how are you not knocking on Shaq Leonard's door and giving him whatever the hell he? Is? Well, that's not his style either. Oh yeah, true. Shaq is a Finesse guy, right? Shaq side is side. a sideline sideline guy. He, he's going to find. He's a visiting this team, I guess. Yeah, right? Philly. Yep. Philly. He's visiting this team after visiting Dallas. And it's Sirianni, which makes sense too. Yeah. So he texts him ten times a day. I mean, how good is that? How good is? It? I mean, he doesn't get touched for fifty yards. That'd be fun. It's got to be awesome, right? That'd be fun. Hey, that's hey, why Sirianni's talking drills. shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. What a big Eagles, time win! Like Eagles are winning so much too. So, uh, so many of these defenses, I feel like in today's game, are kind of built to. Almost just survive the run game because it's going to come down back to the, the beginning on this. situation. But yes, survive right. the run game and get to get to the fourth quarter. Listen, Kelsey makes this whole thing run, obviously with how athletic he is. But this is a great scheme because all this is, like I said, this is an inside zone. If you were to just single this, and now Jordan Phillips, I think this is right. Is this ninety seven? Yep. yep. So he's able to just kind of push this pocket this way. Now he has to get a cutback, and now you don't have it. But this is the new thing that they've been doing especially with athletic centers, is we get this down block right here. You widen here. It creates the hole. It makes it super easy because now we get him kicked out, him cut down. As long as we can get the kick out here and get to the backside, that creates the huge hole. And now there's not – now with the zone scheme, a lot of times you see everything just pu- pushing sideways. And then you cut back, you cut back, you cut back. Eventually there's going to be an unblocked defender that's going to make the tackle. But not with Philly. He'll run downhill. That's right. Awesome. right. With a couple pulls and such. They got a lot of big – Gaping holes. Oh, I love this. I love this. I think we got eyes on this, I think, right? So we get the motion. We get McCaffrey going out wide, and then he's going to come back in and settle right here on the wing. Show the same form. Oh, there we go. You're going to watch this guy. You're going to watch this guy. You're going to watch this guy. You're going to watch all these guys on the second level because they see something. They smell something, right? Oh, here comes the shovel pass to McCaffrey. Watch it freeze all of them for a second as they just sit there, and we hand off to Debo. And he just walks in for an untouched touchdown. Oh. You see how they all just kind of froze? Yeah. It's just constant, constant, over and over again. When you turn on this film, they get in the same formations. It's always this deuce off. Deuce because we got two tight end bodies. But guess who the bodies are? Kittle. And now we got McCaffrey. Sometimes it's use check. Sometimes it's Debo. Something, it doesn't matter. They put the same people in different positions, same formations. You never know what the fuck's coming. And here we go. You never know what's going to happen. But here... It's always going to this guy down here, right? Nope. We go to Debo. We walk in. That's just Shanahan big brain stuff, right? That's right. It's just awesome. That's calling a game, not calling plays. It's exactly what we talk about. Hell yeah. There's a difference. There's a big difference when you're coordinated about calling a game and not calling plays. Speaking of calling a game, Jalen called game, didn't he? Oh, this, yeah. That was, a, that was a great lead in there right there. Thank you. Game winner. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. We get this. Hey, I think this is a cover zero check. I really do. Hey, we get down to the 10-yard line. We're going to go cover zero. This You see this time and time again versus cover zero. They get these huge, huge plays. And by doing this, hey, let's check draw. We'll get him motioned over here. You get one guy pulling out and kicking out the 25 off the edge and ear mm. hole. Look at that ear see hole. Ya. Folds him in half as Jalen just walks in for the game winner. Brandon Graham knew it. Yeah. Yes, he did. He called it. He called it not only during the play or before the play was snapped, but while the field goal was happening for Buffalo in overtime. Yeah. You, we're about to win this, bitch. <laughs> we're about to, you don't know Jalen Hurts. Put it in one's hands. And then whenever this play happens, Brandon Graham on the sideline is like, oh, one's going to score a touchdown here. He knew because why? Because you think it was a cover zero check? Yeah, I think, listen, McDermott knew he had to make a play here. Like, it's, you know they're going to try and win the game after Buffalo already got the, the field goal, right? It's like, hey, they're going to they're gonna score. They have to score a touchdown. They're going to end it right now. 
They see cover zero. Hey, let's check to this. Boom. Game you over. think Sirianni kicks a field goal to tie that? Oh, no, no way. Chance. No, no, chance. no if within, way. If, if they're within the four, four and in. Let's say no they're chance. at the. Let's say they're at the thirteen. Yeah, they have to. Okay. And How much time? Fourth and what? Yeah. Fourth and five. At the thirteen. Have to. You got fourteen seconds left. I think Go he's after. going. You yeah. think going. There's going. no way Sirianni no. plays for a tie no. ever. At, we and don't after fucking the, play for ties around here. Okay, we win fucking football. Yeah, but at the end of the season for home field advantage, like a tie might end up helping you. You know that. Yeah, maybe, but um, I'm not bitch. So <laughs> I'm trying to win football games. Okay, I don't want to see ten one and one on my record ever, and then you never will see that on my record. We're winning football games. Okay, thank you, coach. Happy to hear that. Can clinch a playoff spot this weekend. <laughs> Which is pretty absurd. I love what he just wins. Yeah. And they would have to do it against the Niners, which, hey, more power to them. Find out. I feel yeah. like this Niners team's coming in the buzzsaw. Mm-hmm. But the Philadelphia Eagles sees everybody buzzsaw. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every game's a big game when you're playing the Philadelphia Eagles. Absolutely. And if you think goes. that Sirianni's been talking shit, a bunch of shit, like in these last couple weeks, wait till Sunday. They beat the Niners. Oh Where's the game at? God, in Philly. Philly. He's oh. going to be oh. in the tunnel. Under, underdog. Yeah. They're, They're home, home dogs. This is the number one Philly team in the NFC. Home They're home dogs. dogs. Would it be all right without uh, Lane Johnson? Potentially. It says Lane's going to play, right? Oh, okay. I think okay. I read that. Okay. Hey, hey, listen. Sounds good to me. I think he's supposed to play. But anyways, we saw this guy last week. What's I mean, his this name? Is two weeks in a row. Biotish. Biotish from Wisconsin. It's another Wisconsin center that they go I, after. I think he's a Tyler, actually. Tyler is right. Now check this out. This oh, is no. unfair. It's, un- oh, no. it's unfair. Oh, Darius, it's unfair. Oh, it's unfair. No. We got to go low. We got to go low. And he doesn't yeah. even use his head, I don't think. Oh. Oh. Player safety. Clean it. That is Player nice. safety. That's yeah. good clean football. We just throw a guy 15 yards. No big deal. Guys used to fall on us, too, so that was good. I appreciate I mean, that 6-3. Why don't guys? Why, why do guys decide to fall on them and rub their stuff all over them? Well, we're going to get a little bit of that after this because we got <laughs> two <laughs> nice plays. Look at this. I mean, just keep running. He looked at shove. him. Just a shove. Why did yeah. he let 5'7 go, though? Where's 5'7? The guy that actually made the, the uh, attack, Barton. Oh, let's see. He let's goes, see. He let's see. Let's here. see. You need a pancake. He lets him go. Goes after the little guy. Get him. Mm. Nice. Right there. Wow. They get in right behind him. What's right he, behind him. Oh. He so, him. listen, I don't even think he looked at Barton. <laughs> I don't even think he looked at him. He said, man, fuck it. I'm going to that guy the whole time. <laughs> he said, it's over. I'm going right to the seat. Boom. See you later. I still got plus five. 57, That's a win. what are you talking about? I got knocked on. <laughs> Somebody else should have had him. You see what Somebody I mean? else should have had him. <laughs> this guy, big money, right? Hey, Chris Lindstrom. Got to love him. Yeah, big money guy. We talked about this before the show. I think they paid him five for, I could be wrong on this number, but it's over $100 million. Five years, $100 million. Ooh, for a guard. For a guard. Which they've invested heavily. Obviously, they run the ball down there with Coach Artie Smith. But I don't think you guys understand how hard this is. These one-on-one blocks in the zone. Because he can make this cut anywhere. The minute he makes this cut, he has to have enough balance to be able to turn it up vertical. And then he just buries them. Damn. Jeez. Like a one-on-one bury like that in the zone scheme is so hard. Because so many times, these guys have their eyes on the backfield. When they go to push back and make that play right there. Boom. They make the play because you're running the zone and you get thrown by as an offensive lineman. But his ability to stay connected and push vertical, incredible. Now, same game. This guy had about seven or eight of these. I I only picked two of them. Watch this deuce block. We're going to take him off the screen. We put him in an arm bar. We fucking bury him like it's a UFC cage match here. Watch this. Let's just continue this. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Boom! Mm. Jeez. Deuce block. It's two on one. Playing three techniques sucks. You got to take on doubles like that. Yeah, guys getting double teamed. Yeah, it's called a deuce once again because this would be called. Well, so if there's if this guy was down here and it was guard center here to the play side, it'd be an ace. Play side here would be a deuce. Play side back here, they typically call that a tray. Then you have a quad, and then over here you either have an A B C. Some people call it scoop slip combo. Oh, of course. So we got all kind of names. There's, uh, a, there's a big glossary of index on the O line. Yeah, and all it is is two bodies on one body. Yeah, so they're deucing, they're scooping. There it is. And now look, he just keeps punching and punching. Watch him keep working that inside leg. Keep working that inside leg. Punch. Oh man. Look at Honey Badger. If you watch Honey Badger. He dodges the two and then turns around like Jesus Christ. They just killed that guy. <laughs> I'm happy he, he, that's not me. Yeah, he's bottom left. He Honey come, Badger had a day. Honey come, Badger had yeah. a day. Dodge block. Two of them things. 
and turn around right here. Oh, hey, oh that's Jesus. dirty. That's dirty. Look at the last you frame. Say, right he's trying to break his arm. Look at him. He's trying to. Yeah, come on. Come yeah, on. Man. Oh. What is that? AQ? I mean, that's it's a man's <laughs> game. Hey, listen, it's a violent game. Don't play in the trenches if you don't want to have that Jeez. happen. Jeez. I mean, my guy died. It's a negative yardage play, though. The play's over. Hey, don't worry about the result of the play. We're worrying about what <laughs> happens later on in the game. This guy's pissed every time he's got to take a deuce block the rest of the game. The play is over. <laughs> It's over. Come Clearly, on. there's no whistle because they're still going. Offensive linemen are talking. Go to the whistle. Be a pest. Be a gnat. Be everything. Yeah, of course. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, in the trench. Jason Kelsey was chit-chatting on a local radio show in Philadelphia about what happened with the defensive line, Jordan Phillips. And we obviously saw a couple great plays there by Jason Kelsey. He was talking about, uh, you know, maybe a little dirty play happening in the Eagles-Bills game. Whoa. What the heck was going on with Jordan Phillips, their D tackle, going after Cam Jurgens? I mean, like going yeah, no. full speed, yeah. not backing off, just trying to crush him. What's the deal with that? Well, you know, I, I think um, the one play was a quarterback sneak. And, uh, you know, I think teams are really, you know, trying to stop that play. They talk about it all week. I'm sure they label it as some type of like, level of toughness to stop the play. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was bullshit at the time. I really did. And <laughs> I, I said so to the official on the field. I said, listen, I've been running that play a, long, a lot of years. Um, I have seen people jump off sides. He made zero effort to stop after yeah. he jumped off sides. Absolutely. He purposely, he purposely tried to hurt Cam Jurgens. He and did. I thought, it, I thought oh. it should have been a personal foul, and I think he should be fine for that play. Now, I'm not going to comment on the rest of the game. There were things happening with the fans. I don't know what happened that got him that fired up, but I thought that play in particular was absolutely a disgrace that the NFL should not allow. I really yeah. do. And I'm not – I don't know Jordan Phillips. He might be the best guy in the world. Um, but that, in my opinion, the NFL needs to do something about him because yeah. that shouldn't be allowed in this game. Yep. At this level, I thought – and I thought the officials did not do a good job of officiating that play. I agree. I really didn't. That I think that, that was so clearly – Travis Not Tucker a Travis. offside. That John. That was a personal foul. Yeah. And it I, should have been stipulated right from that moment. And because they didn't call that, you saw things happen throughout the rest of the game. Okay, so setting the tone is what Jason Kelsey's talking about. Here's the play that he is referring to. It was a brotherly shove where Jordan Phillips jumped offside and continued to run his feet all the way back, and the ball was clearly not snapped. AQ Shipley, uh, we'll go to you now, obviously, because you're a man who appreciates yeah. the trench warfare. Vita Vea is the man for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who defeated the brotherly shove earlier this season. What Kelsey said there, is there just like honor amongst the trenches, what you're supposed to do, what you're not supposed to do? Because he said that was like disrespectful to the NFL pretty much. That's 100%. Him. He's under percent right that's bullshit i mean you just can't let that happen it's one of those plays where yeah you can jump off sides but the minute like, you know you know as soon as you make contact it's off sides like just fucking shut it down d butt what are you Aww. thinking from the defense oh okay all right. oh. Oh, we just saw a guy try to fucking snap his shoulder off <laughs> <laughs> 15 <laughs> yards past yep. was the play still going we don't know was the play still going hey, yeah, that, that play right there going. fourth and one and kelsey knows this that was a, a tone setter look we're gonna send this tone sometimes you play certain quarterbacks maybe banged up Hey, we're going to hit him low or whatever. You're going to get a personal foul, and we're going to go over, go about the game. And this is, come on, man. Wasn't Kelsey? I love Jason. Didn't he, uh, didn't Colts and Philly have a joint practice where it was? What? I don't remember well, that. He got yeah, in a fight. Zyre, he I did, yeah, he's he, fiery. Yeah, I think yeah. he is Zyre Franklin late. After. 80 plus 65 plus yeah. 30s, 170, 184. Fuck, Jordan Phillips set the tone, man. They only fucking gave up 185 yards rushing. Hey, it ain't worth it. Set a hell of a tone. Hey, it ain't worth it. Set a hell of a tone. Set a hell of a tone. Good job, man. Crushed Jeez. it. AJ, oh, oh, what are your thoughts on that? Jason Kelsey is not normally going to say that type of thing either, by the no. way. No. That's very abnormal, I think, for Jason Kelsey and any offensive lineman. To kind of yeah. say. So it must have been more throughout the game that was happening where he was like, this guy, no, wait, hey, come on. Like, we're kind of, oh, nice this is the NFL type friends. of thing. How do you feel about it, AJ? Yeah, I mean, I, I get, there is like a, it is a big fraternity in the NFL. Like, you, people legit are not trying to hurt players. Like, you're trying to, you're trying to annihilate them, but you're not doing things late and cheap to hurt players. There is a, a respect thing. I get, I get it. Games get fired. He just kept his legs going. I, yeah, I, I understand why Kelsey is upset 100%. But also, if that's a D lineman on my squad, 
I'm not too upset with them. Like, I'm thinking, all right, hey. okay, bud. Now, but we, now we got to stand up and actually stop the run, though. Hey. Yep. Now, they know what we're, now they know what we're about. Mm-hmm. He did no. have two false starts on that last drive in regulation, so it could have worked. Maybe it did. Oh, got him a little bit gunshot. Yeah. He was jumpy. Nervous. Jumpy with that hand. <sighs> Jordan Phillips fought, fought a fan. Yeah, yeah he, he was did. robbed up. So. Got everybody fired up.